Hi, in this video, I'm going to discuss the gearing and ungearing of beta and why it is important. As we all know that beta reflects the market volatility of the returns of a stock or a portfolio of stock. Hi, if you're new to my channel, I am the Commerce Specialist. I create content which covers learning outcomes of various educational qualifications and professional certifications, including life-changing business ideas and hack. So let's get into gearing and ungearing of beta. I've created a video on capital asset pricing model where I've discussed beta in detail and I've also uploaded a video on weighted average cost of capital where I've discussed how to calculate cost of capital. These two concepts are important to understand the contents of this video. So here there is a question. It says the debt equity ratio of a company is 2 is to 5 and these debt equity ratio is calculated based on market value. We also have a corporate debt which is considered risk-free and it has a after tax before tax return of 11%. Beta of a company's equity is 1.1. Average return on stock market equity is 16% which is the market rate. Now we want to invest in a new company which is in a different sector. The details of the new company is given here. Average beta coefficient of equity is 1.59. Average debt equity ratio is 1 is to 2 of the new company and it is based on market value. Tax uh, rate is 30%. The question is, what is the suitable cost of capital to apply for this new project? We all know that when we are doing investment appraisal or capital budgeting, whether we are calculating NPV, IRR, etc., we need cost of capital. Here the problem is, we as an investing company, we belong to a different sector where we are investing that company also belongs to a different sector so obviously that sector has its own dynamics and obviously own risk so if you are investing in a company which belongs to a different sector we cannot apply our existing weighted average cost of capital because our existing weighted average cost of capital covers the fundamentals and the dynamics of our industry which means risk returns and so many things but we cannot use our existing weighted average cost of capital and do the investment appraisal for a new company which belongs to a different industry. Obviously, the dynamics are different. The systematic risk of the industry, the market in which the new company operates is different. Therefore, existing WAC cannot be used. WAC means weighted average cost of capital. So what should we do? So guys, before we get into the topic, it's a humble request. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification button so, so that you get my videos on a timely basis. And please like and share my videos. Uh, that helps me a lot. Thank you. Let's get into the business. So the issue is we are a company, we are investing into a new company. The new company belongs to a new market, new systematic risk, new variables, new dynamics. We cannot use our existing weighted average cost of capital. So instead, we use the average systematic risk to determine the cost of capital for the new company. But here there is another issue. The beta factor of listed company in the same industry are also different because they have different level of gearing, different level of risk. So in this situation, what we do is we calculate geared beta of the new company based on average geared beta of the companies already in the industry. So in this situation, uh, we have a very simple and straightforward procedure. We have a three step procedure uh, to solve this problem. First step is we have to convert the geared beta of the new company into ungeared beta. Now geared beta is known as equity beta and ungeared beta is known as asset beta. So formulas for them are different. So let's first ungear the beta of the new company. So for that, we have to ungear it. So ungeared beta is also known as asset beta, which is equal to equity beta, which is geared beta into value of equity upon value of equity plus value of debt into one minus tax. The equity beta of the new company is 1.59. So I'm writing here 1.59. And the debt equity ratio is 1 is to 2. So 1 is the debt, 2 is the equity. So we have equity here, which is 2 in the numerator upon 2 plus 1 into 1 minus tax. Tax rate is 30%, which is 0.3. When you do this, we get 1.18. This is your ungeared beta. The next step, we are going to convert this ungeared beta to geared beta of our industry, which reflects our gearing, our capital structure. So let's see how it is done. 
so get beta is equity beta which is equal to asset beta into value of equity plus value of debt upon value of equity and obviously this is whenever there is debt there could be tax so let's plug in the number uh, asset beta which is the ungate beta we have already calculated so let's plug the number here 1.18 into value of equity plus value of debt. This is our debt equity ratio. This is debt, this is equity. So value of equity is five plus two into one minus tax rate is 0.3. Whole thing upon value of equity, which is five. So when you calculate this, you will get equity beta, which is get beta. And this get beta reflects the beta of our industry, which comes to 1.51. So now what we have is the project specific beta for the new investment. So if we have project specific beta, we also have a risk-free rate. We also have the market rate. What we are missing is the cost of equity. So here we will use capital asset pricing model. I told you I've already created a video on capital asset pricing model. Have a look at that. I will use the formula to calculate cost of equity. So this is the formula for capital asset pricing model cost of equity and obviously we're talking about geared equity is equal to risk-free rate plus beta into market risk minus risk-free rate. So cost of equity of a geared company will equal to, we have risk-free rate here, debt, uh, return on debt is considered risk-free, so which is 11% plus beta, which we just calculate 1.51. This is a project specific beta. Market rate is given here, 16%, and risk-free is 11. So when you calculate this, we will get 18.55%. This is cost of equity. Now that we have the cost of equity of a geared company, we also have the debt equity ratio of the new company and ours. We are able to calculate the weighted average cost of capital, which we are going to use to do the investment appraisal of the new project. So as I said, I've already created a video on weighted average cost of capital, which is WAC. Watch that video, you see the formula. I'm writing the WAC formula here. Have a look at this. The weighted average cost of capital is equal to value of equity upon value of equity plus value of debt, whole thing into cost of equity plus value of debt upon value of equity plus value of debt whole thing into cost of debt into one minus tax so our capital structure is given here in the question to ratio five so this would be value of equity is five upon two plus five or five plus two it's the same thing into cost of equity we just calculated 18.55 18.55% plus value of debt, debt is two, upon value of equity, two plus five, whole thing into cost of debt, cost of debt is given here as 11%, so this is into 11%, and this is into one minus tax, which is 0.3. So when you solve all this, you get 15.45% and this is the weighted average cost of capital you should be applying to the new project which reflects all the important dynamics or risk etc so here let me give you a recap what i did here is we were a company having a different capital structure different systematic risk we are going to invest in a new company which belongs to a different industry a different sector obviously having a different systematic risk and different other dynamics and variables so our company already have a weighted average cost of capital, but that is as per our dynamics, the industry we operate, what is our cost of equity, what is our cost of debt, the risk and all that. That's how we calculated our weighted average cost of capital. But if we have a particular weighted average cost of capital, we cannot use that weighted average cost of capital to do the investment appraisal of a new investment, especially when the new investment belongs to a different industry, different sector, having different beta, different risks, different dynamics, and different systematic risk. So what we do is, first step, we converted the 
geared beta of the new company which is 1.59 into asset beta which is ungeared beta. After that this ungeared beta we mold it into the geared beta as per our industry as per our uh, capital structure see debt equity. Once we got the equity beta which is the geared beta as per our industry we used capital asset pricing model and we calculated the cost of equity. Once we calculate cost of equity we use the weighted average cost of capital to calculate the weighted average cost of capital so that we can use it for investment appraisal purposes. If you have any queries relating to this topic, feel free to leave a comment. I will reply to you as usual. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification button so that you get my video on a timely basis. Thank you so very much for your time. Love you all.